So um, last time I did one of these was back in March. And since then, there's been quite a bit of progress on the game. Uh, it's coming along well. I'm going to update everybody on uh, what, what's what been going on and uh, where we stand and perhaps when this thing might be finished up. In the March devlog, I was talking about how I designed my levels um, and build them. Quite a bit of work has gone in since then I've finished uh, put out an updated demo for the game and um, so back in December is when I released the first demo which was more of a vertical slice for the game and it was a very long um, like two hour slice of the game uh, with some flaws that needed to be corrected and a uh, since then I redesigned the entire um, introduction to the game. I built this new level which is intended to be the first level for the game and I rebuilt the entire intro, the onboarding for new players, um, just everything from scratch started it over and redesigned it. And I think the current iteration is much more um, in, in line with uh, how my game is intended to be uh, played and I think it gives a, a better feel for what the game will be and it's packaged in a 20 minute demo instead of like this two hour sl vertical slice. Overall I'm pretty happy with the result of that and feel free to give it a try and give me your feedback on it. Uh, it certainly can be uh, improved and I intend to improve it going forward. So the new demo is on the most recent version of Unreal Engine, uh, which is supposed to help with performance, uh, a lot of performance improvements with Nanite, Lumen, all the new features, PCG, etc. Um, when I upgraded, there was it looked like some changes to how runtime virtual texturing was working with uh, landscape splines. And currently the demo, you won't see any roads or dirt paths because they use um, RVT on splines. However, uh, I have a fix in place for this, which will um, be coming out whenever I get around to um, updating the demo. So hopefully shortly. Um, I intend to get that. It's a minor fix. It doesn't really change too much with the uh, overall demo. I did have a little bit of downtime. My PC experienced um, some issues. It was overheating, but all that squared away. That uh, resulted in uh, a loss of about a week. And this is also um, a cardinal sin in game dev, but for quite a while I was not using version control. Uh, I, I was making daily backups of my entire game dev drive uh, but I never had set up version control so I spent a few days and uh, managed to get that all set up using AWS and Perforce um, so we're starting to um, be a little more legitimate now uh, if anything happens uh, I'll be able to continue on with the game so there was a couple tech things on the side I had to deal with and that were took up a couple weeks of time but where we stand right now is uh, the the level this level I'm working on the first level for the game it's every level I build is quite large takes quite a bit of time to construct uh, each level I intend will take a player an hour and a half to two hours to complete and I want five levels in the game maybe six so the game is intended to be eight to twelve hours in uh, in length um, so this first level uh, the beginning of it was the entire onboarding experience that took up a huge chunk of time designing that so that won't need to be designed again it'll just be updated polished up so for future levels, that whole process uh, won't be needed, which will make subsequent levels a little quicker to develop. And now I have um, the design 
methods are pretty well refined at this point. And I have a lot of back-end systems that are uh, just working well right now. Uh, my save game system and uh, the objectives and character movement and all this stuff are starting to uh, feel pretty good. Most of July was spent implementing the story for the game for uh, the first level. Um, and so, so that would represent around 20% of the story. And I was able to get it basically all in in July, which was far exceeding my expectations. And um, at the, the final thing I was working on last week was the transition from level one to level two, getting that back end system uh, designed, uh, programmed out, and working. And it's almost there. Everything's at the point where it works. Except uh, once you enter level two, it's uh, still finessing that, polishing it up, and ironing out the bugs. But that should be resolved fairly shortly. And then level two was uh, what was mostly already completed. Uh, that that's the one I used for my vertical slice. So the story in level two is already in. Uh, so I would say about 40% of the story is in the game. And using, you know, it took me about a month, month and a half to implement 20% of the story. So it's not going to go that quick for the last few levels. Uh, I still need to build the levels, which takes a lot of time. But I think I can start moving at a much quicker clip now and start finishing this game off. Uh, I just see, I, I can see the finish line. We're almost there. Uh, when I say almost there... I'm I'm estimating possibly uh, you know a year year and a half out. When I implement the story, I'm just putting in the cinematics and the dialogue, the script, uh, the characters, uh, you know, animating them and all that stuff. So there's still I need to go to my voice actors, my composer, sound effects person, and uh, I need to contract out these roles and these uh, parts and still get um, all this sound work done. Uh, I basically do the entire game myself other than anything that has to do with sound. I'll uh, create some sound effects here and there for voice acting. I think that's one of the biggest uh, things that brings the story to life and I've already been working with over 10 different voice actors on this project. It's a lot of work to compile the script into um, each person's part and have them record it and then edit the dialogue and put it into sound files, put it in the game, implement it. There's a ton of time that that all takes. And then music is another huge aspect, which um, hopefully we'll be able to get started on um, in the near future, uh, start getting some tracks recorded for this game. Any music you hear is um, by Hugh Wagner for that was for the companion. So it's just using the same tracks. Um, and I'm Hugh has been uh, anticipating starting work on this game. So I hope that will happen coming up. Other than sound work, uh, there is the topic of localization. When I did the companion, I localized it in 11 different languages. Um, that was also a lot of work. I'm trying to build this game so that with localization in mind, but there's still the... Um, it's amazing how much time it takes to localize your project. Not just in the game and making all that right, but then localizing the store pages and, and everything there. I'm pretty excited with where the game stands at the moment. It's uh, coming along and it's just uh, keep cranking, keep uh, trudging forward. And by the end of 2025 or sometime in 2026, hopefully this game will be uh, ready. So about a week ago is when I was at a good breaking point for the, the Majestic and I decided to spend a few days here. It's This might be day four or five. Um, finally, uh, going back to the companion a little bit and doing some minor updates, 
and then uh, finally working on getting on the Epic Game Store. So it's not quite there yet, um, but it's coming very soon. Uh, one of the biggest hiccups with the Epic Game Store, um, originally I tried to do this about a year ago, a year and a half ago, and my account was busted, bugged, something happened. I couldn't uh, pay the fee to get on the store. Then they fixed my account, but I wasn't ready to dive back into it. it. This stuff takes a little time, and I was just heads down working on this game, the Majestic, trying to get to a satisfactory point. So now I felt this was a good breaking point where I'm between levels, mostly moving back on to level two for some uh, polish, and then level three will be coming very shortly. But um, during this break, I definitely wanted to use it to um, finally set up the store for EGS and record this devlog and some other miscellaneous things that have been hanging out there. Hopefully the next devlog won't be um, so far off. Once I'm done uh, polishing up the second level, maybe uh, a month or two from now, and I'm in the middle of level three, I'll have another one of these. So yeah, there's been a lot going on since uh, the, the last devlog in March. I thank you for watching this channel and my progress and keeping informed about my game. It means a lot to me, and I uh, hope you will stick around and stay for the next one. So uh, that'll be it for now. Thank you, and take care.